Hey, internet friends, it's an election year, so you don't have to be a Nostradamus to predict that the circus is coming to town. Filled with tons of distractions and just the entire freak show ready and waiting. And let's just say that things have been stranger than usual in the United States, especially for the last week or so. We've got secret tunnels exposed, cars slamming into the White House gate, hotel explosions, and even Miami monster sightings. Something strange is happening in the United States, and it's about time we asked, what are we being distracted from? If I missed any of the major recent happenings, just let me know, and if you want me to discuss any of these strange happenings in depth, I'll certainly do that for you, but today it's just an overview, and we'll start with the afternoon of January 8th when an illegal secret tunnel beneath the Chabad Lubavitch World Headquarters in Brooklyn, New York, was uncovered by the NYPD, sparking riots and chaos. Apparently, police discovered these tunnels about a month ago through an anonymous tip. But yesterday, a cement truck, curiously, was there to fill in the tunnels and a group of Hasidic Jewish men were arrested and they were accused of standing in said tunnels and refusing to leave, having a standoff between themselves and the officers. Of course, there are many questions about what these tunnels were used for. Footage was taken of a small, soiled mattress being removed, as well as a child's high chair being discovered. Some notes on Chabad, they are one of the largest Jewish organizations in the world, and that means they have great international influence. So I really want to emphasize that this wasn't some rinky-dink synagogue. It was the, the headquarters in Brooklyn. Reports are that in recent years, work has been done to these tunnels. There have been suggestions that they were COVID congregation centers during lockdown, but that's mainly just speculation. And it's important to note that these tunnels are connected to underground passageways of surrounding buildings and such. And we really don't know. Reports haven't been published stating where they lead. What do y'all think about these tunnels and what do you think they've been used for? Around the same time the tunnel riots were happening, the Secret Service reported that one suspect was taken into custody following a car crash that occurred on Monday evening when a car ran into the gate of the White House. What's noteworthy to me is how little detail there is on this incident. If you remember, in May of 2023, I included in a video that a man drove his rented U-Haul box truck into the White House gate. We never really got any follow-up on that, but I will say that on the same day, January 8th, around the same time, a huge explosion occurred at the Sandman Signature Hotel in downtown Fort Worth, Texas, reportedly caused by a gas leak. I really wonder who was staying there. It was said that the explosion could be heard from miles away. Of course, we've also got to discuss the Alaskan Airlines incident that occurred last Friday, January 5th, that involved a whole door flying off a Boeing 737 at 16,000 feet in the air. Apparently, no one was sitting in the seats closest to the door, but passengers reported oxygen masks coming down, headrests, bones, and clothing getting sucked out the door. Thankfully, the flight was grounded and landed safely. I was going to say that in the aftermath of COVID lockdowns and all these medical mandates, it's left critical sectors short-staffed. And people who would never have been hired in the first place are getting the green light, so it's, it's like a breeding ground for incompetency and error which is obviously no good when safety checks are involved. But when they set out to do the investigation on this flight, it was revealed that the voice recorder in the cockpit, which records noises from the engines and pilots' voices, was totally overwritten. So they can't hear what was said during the flight, which is pretty, it's pretty sus, pretty suspicious to me. A number of Boeing 737 MAX 9s have been grounded for inspection ever since, and I read somewhere that the only thing that Alaskan Airlines had done for passengers was give them free food and refund their flight. Can you imagine getting on another flight after your first one ends up with the plane door popping off and all you got in your hand is a free bag of chips from Alaskan Airlines? No thanks. Of course, we got to talk about the creatures reportedly walking around Miami, and no, I'm not talking about lot lizards. The very large police presence responded to what they said were teenagers fighting at Bayside Marketplace Mall in Miami. Which, I mean, how many police does that take to break up? Surely no more than a handful of officers, right? So there was some speculation about what was actually happening, and amateur footage emerged showing what appeared to be a large creature standing at the entrance of the open-air mall. And a bunch of people said it was an alien or, or something. 
Again, internet friends, I feel like I'm no fun because I really don't talk about aliens on here very much. I'll talk about some Nephilim from time to time, but I really just don't get down with all the alien talk. So do I believe that there was an alien creature at the opening of the mall? I think what is more likely is that the algorithms are pushing certain topics to the surface um, while they are bearing other topics online just to sort of steer the discourse in a way that they want it to be steered. And given that batches of Epstein files were being released over the last week or so with court documents alleging that Jeffrey Epstein recorded tapes of Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Sir Richard Branson, as well as endless sordid reports of various politicians and celebrities being blackmailed on Epstein Island, I have to ask, are these sorts of things, even alien sightings, a total distraction? I feel like a broken record, but Project Bluebeam is a theory that was published back in 1994 by a Canadian investigative journalist. And he alleged that NASA and the United Nations were collaborating to bring on a new world order. And that they would do this by using their advanced technology to phase out cash, alter thinking patterns, manipulate the weather like artificially created earthquakes and even create holograms to resemble an alien invasion, or the coming of Christ, or Muhammad, or whatever, to usher in a one-world religion. I know Project Bluebeam might sound out there to some, but you have to remember, lunatics are running the asylum. That's all from me today. Again, I ask, what are we being distracted from? Our ultimate purpose in this life? If I missed a critically important event, or you'd like me to do a deep dive on one of the events discussed here, let me know. You know, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. As always, I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and for supporting me by purchasing my book, The Deep State Encyclopedia. Bye!